Welcome back, everyone. Gremlin Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Um, let's hope we don't die. So we're playing with insane zombies. And we are in a house that hopefully we will not uh, die while we try to sleep. Where's the sleep? There we go. But we'll see. I'm not super hopeful. Thirsty already, huh? We've got the high thirst um, perk, which is going to cause that to happen a lot, actually. Not tired enough to sleep. All right, first night. It's always hard to... It's very dark. Drink. Let's eat the rest of this mutton chop. I don't have um, anything to... I could pour out the whiskey bottle, but I feel like that as a Molotov, which we should actually probably make... It's probably a more important thing to have right now. Some matches in our main inventory. Uh, just in case we need the Molotov. Alright, so... I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit until we get to a more uh, appropriate time. Because if the sun's not up, it's gonna be a little scary out there. 640's fine. Just thirsty again already. Need a water bottle badly. Toothpaste. That's not helpful. Alright. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. Got a crop of zombies down there. We have no weapon. One of them just cruising at us from, from way over there. That's eh, not good. can stomp and push too. That's easy. Three gets a little dice here. And especially when you miss and one of them stands up. Uh, now there's four. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Four zombies. Too much to take on without a weapon. Can it be done? Yes, it can be done. Do I want to be the person to do it? Not really. Alright, so I kind of want to get into this house right here that's behind a bunch of barriers, so we're gonna... We're gonna play a little game today, and it's called... Lead the Zombies Away. <laughs> gonna be a little risky. But hopefully it'll work out. I'm gonna try to clear the area right around this house a little bit. Oh, there's a zombie in that tree right behind me. There we go. Alright, so we slipped around some of those guys. That group's gonna see me, that's okay. They'll lose track of me once I go around the trees. Hmm. So the question becomes, really, how many of them did I trick? Well, if things are light enough here, and they're not, okay. Alright, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna try to get into that house, but I guess we won't be doing that. Alright, so let's see. How many zombies did I manage to ditch here? Are you alone? Don't push me away, I need to keep ah, I need to keep that guy on the ground. There we go. Two of them, okay. We got at least one zombie besides this guy closing in on us. Just gotta figure out where they're coming from. Oh man. Alright. Just a little bit at a time. Oh my god, that's a huge, that is a huge find. Oh, thank you, zombie man. You don't know how much le how much better you've just made my life. This might actually work now. We might actually be able to clear this area out. Mm. 
Alright, zombies. I got an axe now. You had it easy. For a, about a day of game, game time, you had it easy. Now, now you're dealing with the... With the axe man. Or woman, as the case may be. See, Archer Allen is... Is armed and dangerous now. All right. Well, no, no zombies in here. I'm really surprised. She is also very thirsty. Oh, there's a zombie inside here. Hmm. Oh, are you kidding me? That was just a bad swing, and I got hit. Let's hope it's not a bite, or this is going to be a <laughs> quick series. Don't be a bite, please. Just do a scratch. Minor pain scratched. Okay, good. That doesn't mean we're in the clear. Scratches can uh, can kill you, give you zombie infection. Come on, there you go. Oh, one somebody just came into the yard. Dish towel, milk. I'm just gonna take this here. I wonder. I don't think milk turns into a usable package when it's done, but we'll take it and find out. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were taking a shower. Sorry, madam. I know, it's very embarrassing. Somebody walks in on you while you're taking a shower. And they want to drink water out of the toilet like a savage. Okay, what do we got? Nothing. Nothing and nothing. Alright. It's not much on the loot front. But a potentially de uh, defendable location to live in. Where did that zombie go? Where did you go? Did you leave? Did you turn around and walk out of here? Are you behind the house? Where did they go? Alright, you know what we're gonna do? I think. Oh, we should put all of our, our food away, our spoilable food away. Pizza. Watermelon. Ketchup can go in there. Yeah, I heard ya. Thanks for screeching at me. Come on, die please. Thank you. Try to maintain this axe as long as we can. <laughs> God knows when we're gonna get another one. How's our. Oh, still not. Uh, I thought we'd be at a dirty bandage by now, but I guess not. Alright. Anybody else wanna have give me another axe? Because that would be awesome. Two axes. Multiple axes. Lots of sweaters. It's the Cosby Brigade. Oh, there's the dirty bandage. Hopefully we won't be zombified. I have to admit I'm a little worried that we're going to be zombified in the end, but... The numbers that people think they have, which is, are not official, because I don't think Indie Stone has ever said it officially. Is that this is a it's twenty five percent chance of zombie infection from a scratch? Some good headway here. Did I kill her in one shot? I did. Unless she became a crawler. You a crawler? Yes, you're a crawler. 
Something about that didn't feel right. Alright. Dead. Somebody coming up on me? I heard... There you go. I heard somebody. That's the thing with insane levels of zombies is the numbers just don't stop. It's just like... You can just kill zombies all day and there's always more. <laughs> just stay in one place and just keep coming at me. Alright, nothing, 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 nothing. Getting a little overheated. We still have the milk with us? We do. Alright, I'm just gonna drink worth of the milk. What does that do? Helps with our thirst, doesn't do anything for that. Don't know if that milk package is gonna turn into a water bottle when it's done. I'd love for it too, but I'm not really sure it's going to. Let's eat a quarter of a corn here. Right, let's see if we can get into this house without disturbing too many of these zombies. Come on. Nope. Hey, there we go. No alarm, please. That's something on the TV right now. Just advertising, it looks like. Then. I'm just going to try to ignore those zombies outside. Trapping for beginners, I will take. I need to take these curtains too, actually. a second level to this house. Oh, there is. Alright, it's the same. <laughs> nothing. Expert farming. Nothing useful. Anything in the desk? Nothing in the desk. Nothing there. I try to get in and out of this house before the uh, <gasps> zombies break that door down. Come on. Starting to get worried about this. Come on. Earbuds, not useful. Nothing. Now this house is a bit of a bust. It's okay. Probably should check my bandage, yep. Alright, well, we'll leave it on until we deal with these zombies. <laughs> I get my hopes up because I got that axe and now I'm like, ooh, every zombie could have an axe on him. Most zombies don't have axes on them. That was an insanely good find. Let's just eat the rest of this corn. Alright, let's see if any zombies decided to move in while we were gone. We should build a wall. No, wait, no zombies decided to move in, it looks like. Sheet. Close curtain. Uh oh. Queasy. Um, I think we are zombified, FYI. Unless we have an infection. If we have an infection, may not. Yeah, I think we're zombified. My zombified sense is tingling. 
But we'll keep playing until we know for sure. And if we don't, I'll start again. And maybe I'll start in one of the other towns this time. Maybe not insane levels of zombies. Might go with just high. Alright. Still have one window open, which is less than ideal, but that's okay. Just eat this ham. Probably know by morning if we're zombified. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go to sleep. Whatever. Anxious, agitated, queasy, nervous wreck. Yep. Um, I give it about. At this point, I'm giving it about even about 60 or 70 percent odds that we're zombified. Could still get lucky here. Somebody in my, actually in my yard. A couple of them. least we can do is rid the world of some zombies before we go down, huh? Oh, you missed the axe, huh? Taking out a whole little horde here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. You're in my yard. <clears throat> all right, nothing. Let's go check all this big pile of corpses. <laughs> nothing. All right. This really is like a little horde that wandered by. It's kind of a shame that we're gonna we probably zombified because this is probably clearing out. A fairly decent amount of the riffraff in the area. So many zombies. This would be impossible without our axe, by the way. Don't, don't let me uh, trick you into thinking that we could have done this without the axe. Definitely not. Would definitely my stomp and push method would definitely not work with it without this X. <laughs> All right. Does anybody have anything useful? Pencil. Nope. All right. Weird noise. Queasy, nauseous, slight panic. Well, the agitation went away, so that's that might be a might mean something. Although my music is going very strangely. Okay, let's go back to sleep for a couple of hours. Nope, now it's back again. Infected. All right, all right. It's infected. That may actually be a good sign. It's gonna slow the way it heals, but it may actually mean that we're uh, we don't have zombification. That is a very slim hope, <laughs> but it is a real one. Take a look around here. I'm gonna try to hit this house up. Ooh, took her down in one. Much quieter around here now. Somebody banging on the door.
Right. It's in the fridge. I'll just eat that tomato straight up. It's a little healing boost. Can opener I might as well take now. Plastic bag, vinegar. Vinegar is used for canning, which is something I've never actually been able to do in this game because finding all of the constituent pieces you need for canning is damn near impossible. We'll take this technology's radio. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Alright. Nothing in here. No disinfectant? That would have been nice. Alright, let's take the sheet off of this wall here. For our last window that needs a sheet. Still so far not zombified. I mean, we probably are, but so far not telling us we're zombified. There's no... oh, there's a window in this building. Anything useful in here? Generator. Long term, that's useful. Close to home, too, so that's good. Sick and agitated. Still not zombified. I would say zombified right here if we were. Oh, I'm hoping this is going to be just an infection. I'm not going to dump out of this episode until I know what's going on, by the way. <laughs> In case you were wondering. I will know if we're dead or not. Oh, hello. I haven't leveled anything up yet, okay. Given enough space, I should probably be able to take this group out. Assuming I can keep them strung out far enough. Yes, come to me faster. You speedy people. Come to me with enough time to run away. Ugh, that's not good. Alright. Why my game slows down like that sometime. I build my new computer, I'm hoping that just the problem just, just goes away. <laughs> it doesn't come back, but we'll see. Oh, hello, crawler. It's not a frame rate issue. I know some of you have heard me talk about this before, but whatever the problem is, it's not a frame rate issue. Because frame rates are solid. Just for some reason, sometimes the game just decides to get a little slow. Comes back eventually. Oh, another crawler. I feel like there's a lot of crawlers in this ep in this uh, playthrough. They got anything? Antibiotics? Disinfectant? Baseball bat? Very minor damage. All right, let's put a new bandage on here. See, I told you with enough space, I could. Uh, I could. I could survive that. <laughs> oh, hello. And now we've got another group we're going to have to kill. Might just wait on this one, actually. We can circle around that way. Broken bone. Alright, that's, that's zombification. We're showing... We're losing health in a situation where we shouldn't. So, I'm gonna go home and eat some food. Fever. Well, maybe not. The queasiness went away. We've got a fever now, but that's not that surprising with a... F with a infection. Needs water. Alright. 
So let's close that a sheet here. We'll eat some food. I really wish we could open that. Um, drink some water. I guess the answer to whether or not that that thing was going to create a water bottle for us is no. Is no now? <laughs> answer that question. Let's eat uh, half of this slice of pizza. Uh, apparently we didn't eat the whole thing. Nope, no. Got a little bit. Guess we should cook this TV dinner since we've got the power right now and the time. Have anything in the refrigerator that needs cooking? No. Just gonna eat. Just gonna eat the rest of this. It's not going up, so... Hmm. So even... Really, even cooked TV dinners give you boredom and unhappiness. I did not know that. Uh, I've never actually eaten a cooked TV dinner before. <laughs> There you go. Um, I wonder if you can, like, jazz it up. I don't actually know what Remulod is. Ketchup, I know what it is. So can you do anything to this? No, can't jazz it up. Okay. Just get rid of the dirty rags. Actually, you know what we should do? We have the water right now. We should, uh... Wash them. I'm just gonna eat this though. Boredom and unhappiness is not the end of the world. I hate how hard it is to get a hold of that thing. Getting bored, a little sad. Alright, so let's see. Oh, what am I doing? I thought you could wash them. Why can't I wash this? Oh well. It's not a big deal. Rags are easy to come by. I think we're I think we're zombified, but I'm not willing to call it unless we have the actual uh, debuff on us. I suppose it should just go to sleep. And that would help us find out. I'll sleep for four hours. Dirty bandage. Nauseous and stressed again. Sleep for another four hours. Well, five hours this time. Bandage. Oh, we're out of bandages. Okay. Lucky us, we got lots. Craft one. There we go. Still nervous, still queasy. I don't know, man. Okay, I'm going to call it. Not zombified. Well, um, I'll pick this up tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me.